Wish I could feel what I can't see Float like a butterfly, scream like a banshee Something's hiding in the pantry Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm feeling like I look like Jane from Tarzan, but I love this outfit from Sheen. It's so cute. I will have outfit details. You'll be able to see the whole thing on my Instagram if you follow me there. I do a lot of postings of clothing, especially from Sheen, because I love Sheen. My whole class is Sheen. Sheen are TJ Maxx. <laughs> if you're interested in anything that I'm wearing, my makeup, my jewelry, my nail color, my everything, it will all be down below as well as everything that we talk about in today's video. But just like the title, it's I hauled it, but did I like it? So I have some items in here that I want to talk to you guys about and we're going to see if they are worth the price or not and if you should grab them or not. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now the first thing that I have here, and it's because the rest of this collection is actually all from the same brand that I want to go over, but this is actually from She Glam or Sheen, and this is newer to the site, and it is their palette called Dune. I have used this. I've been using this. This comes with three powders, which this is a bronzer powder, two highlight powders, and then it comes with a cream product, a cream highlighter, I guess you should say. And I'm trying these out, and they are overall actually very good. Now, the bronzer, a little bit scary. I think that, honestly, this palette would be better for medium to darker toned skin colors. Um, For me, maybe a uh, hair, like, darker than me or anything lighter. And it's just too much. It's a little bit muddy and orange. I love the cream highlighter. I use that actually a lot. You can tell because I bounce my blender into it. And these are just fantastic highlighters. They really are. So there's nothing bad. Once again, this, like most things from She Glam, is a steal for the price. But it is affordable, which means that there are drawbacks. Like there is no mirror in this, which I kind of like, meh, but that adds to why it's such a good priced item, I guess. Um, it says that it's a four square palette that features a curated selection of colors that'll make you a contouring queen. A luminous highlighter, creamy blush, bold bronzer, and setting powder provides you with a what? I am confused. The back of this says that there's a highlighter, a blush, what the fuck? A luminous highlighter, a creamy blush. So you're telling me that this is a blush? I've been using that as a highlighter. I don't know. Use makeup how you want to. That's my only thing, okay? So I like this. I think it is definitely worth it, especially if it matches your skin tone. Probably a little bit better than mine. Um, and maybe read the back before you do it because I had no idea that there was actually like a blush and stuff in here. I do not consider that a blush. They lie. Okay, this is a highlighter and a bronzer. That's what it is. But is it worth it for you guys to get it? Yes, it is. Like I said, if you guys are the right skin tone, I still work with it. There are still things out of it that I love. The highlights I love. That liquid blush is beautiful. Um, so I definitely think that it's worth having if it's something that you're interested in. All right, now the next few things. Oh, actually, I have another thing here that I want to talk about, and then we'll talk about the whole whole brand thing. The next thing is from ColourPop, and this is their palette in Lyric. This is not a new product, but this is a new product to me. Um, I wanted it since the second that I saw it come out. They did come out with um, other colors of this palette, like of these kinds of palettes, and this one was the only one that spoke to me. And is it worth your money? Because I've seen a lot of people asking that question about these palettes. Yes, this is completely worth your money. This, it's great packaging, first of all. It's like a very well-made acrylic palette that you open up. And it is kind of hard to open because the acrylic is made so well. It's really good acrylic. And then you have five colors here. You have... What are you? Melody, Ode, Unsung, Cello, and Verse, Lyric. You know, it's a musical cut type of thing. But this is a beautiful palette. You can get beautiful looks from it. Beautiful looks. And looks up. 
not just one look. You can get a bunch of different looks out of this, and I find that, that it is so easy to use. The mattes and the shimmers, all of them just... They perform so perfectly. So it does make me want to get the other ones. It's just I have so much eyeshadow that is it really worth it for me to do that? Probably not. So if you've been on the fence about this, I would recommend it. I would honestly recommend everyone to have just Lyric in general in your collection because it has such beautiful rich shades that we always kind of gravitate towards and you always need a good formula when it comes to browns and bronzes and golds you really need that good formula and you're going to get it with this ColourPop palette at a cheap price so that's definitely a palette to get now the rest of what we're going to talk about is four of the products that i have recently gotten from catrice they did not send these to me i bought them all myself from amazon I almost forgot. I bought everything I'm talking about today myself. But I bought these from Amazon. At first, I bought... I, I, what did I buy? Oh, I bought a bronzer from them first. I was online and I was looking around. And I didn't actually grab the bronzer because I just wanted to talk about these four newer products that I got. Then I got the blush. Now, this is their blush in O2. They do have different colors and all sorts of things. These are a relatively very affordable brand, a Korean brand. But they're made so well that I kept grabbing more and more and more on the site. So I want to go through this with you guys. So if you are interested in the Katkin products and how I'm feeling about them or you want to grab something yourself, maybe this will help point you in a good direction. So this is the blush. The packaging is so luxe. It's not even funny. You open it up, you get a mirror, and then that's the product. It's like a shimmery orangey blush. I'm wearing it today. And you can tell it's very shimmery, but the color of the blush is actually very light on the face. So there's not a lot of that orange pigment, but there is that sheen. And I love that. This is something that you can build up like crazy. It looks great and radiant on the skin. It makes you look alive without overdoing blush. Which I love to overdo blush. I'm not a hater on that. But this is something that you can't overdo. And I love it so much. And I know like we're going into fall and you know, winter and people are like, eh, it's not a winter color. Uh, wear what you, want, what you want when you want. You do what you want. It's your life, okay? <laughs> now, the next item is their Catkin Brow um, Pencil. And a lot like Folklore, this comes with a free refill. You open it up. It comes in a really nice box. I love their packaging. And then you take it out and you get your pencil and then you get your refill. Now, the packaging on this is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. However, this one was not for me. And it's not because it's a bad product. It's because I got the wrong color. You really do need to be careful with Asian color tones because they run different. They either run peachy or they run whitening. Like there will be a white cast or they run gray. This pencil right here is gray. And I, it's a Katkin long lasting eyebrow pencil. So it's going to last for a long time. But I do remember that I looked at the color. It, says, well, it only says CL1 right now. They're, oh my, don't, don't mess with me right now. Don't. I did look online and this was like a gray brown. And I didn't pay attention to that. So when I went to put this on, you could see the darkness of my real eyebrows, but then it was just gray. So definitely don't get this unless you actually have like, you know, your graying and it would match you very well. Or you have a very light blonde, almost, almost dirty blonde look to your eyebrows. This black one would work, but I do, this doesn't work for me. This was really, really bad. I'm going to have to pass that on. I did, however, already get another one that is beautiful in red packaging and works very very well for me so well this one's not the one i did find the one next i want to talk about this bad boy now if you saw on instagram i opened this on instagram for you guys because this came like it was a to-do this was not that much money this is their like compact foundation and it comes in a box like a box and you open it up and you have this product here and then you have a refill next to it in a bag which I have over on my vanity. 
So you actually get two in one and it's still so, so affordable. So it looks like this beautiful packaging. I cannot take the packaging of Kacken. They are so good. I haven't peeled off anything from the mirror yet, but then you get their cushion which I use and it works really great and then you open it up and you have your product there. This is a very very good product however it is very light coverage. What this is going to do for you is actually kind of even your skin tone. Um, if you have a lot of blemishes I don't feel like it's going to do very much for you but I do feel like if you have relatively good skin you're going out really quick you're not trying to do yourself up too great and you just want a little bit of evening you're going to love this. It has more of that whitening evening kind of toning to it which a lot of Asian products like this especially do to the skin is lighten them and oh it's even embossed I can feel it it's just so pretty so I do like this it makes my skin look better than it normally is naturally but it's not something that I would wear on camera or to take pictures or go to an event with so this is a great product to have for like every day but not special occasions no no and lastly oh I want to talk about this one. Look at that. Look at that! Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This is their highlighter in C01. I don't really know names. They just say C something, C something. There's a mirror in this, and then this highlighter. Uh, I'm wearing it today, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, it's so good. This is so good. I will never go without this. And it's so cute. It's so cute. If someone was like getting into your makeup bag and they saw that or they saw that in your collection, they're going to want to talk about it. That's how beautiful this packaging is. So this A+. Plus. A plus grab this. This might be my favorite thing that I have actually gotten from Katkin. Um, I also do have a lipstick from them. I showed that on Instagram. There are pictures on Instagram. I'm not even sure I'm going to touch it because it's so beautiful. And what they did to the actual lipstick and the embossment within it. I don't know if I can ever use it. And I'm like, ah! I'm going to have to buy another one that I can actually use. Because I don't want to use that one. It's so freaking beautiful. But I will get to reviewing the rest of the Katkin products I have as well. But overall, my sense to it is find products that you like. Grab them. Don't go out of your comfort zone um, with Katkin. But they definitely... 100% are worth the money on Amazon. So I will have them listed and linked down below. They will always be in my Amazon storefront, like my favorites. I don't know. It's like a thing where I put all my favorites on Amazon. You click the link and it takes you straight to all of my favorites that I've gotten from Amazon. And Katkin is in there. So go ahead and feel free to do that. I do um get a small commission, a small commission, if you do purchase through that link. So thank you if you do. But they are definitely worth it. And then when you click on them, you'll find more and more Asian, like, brands. And you will get lost. You will get lost on Amazon a little bit. But the packaging is just... No American company does packaging like this that I've seen. Like, Asian companies do. They do their packaging like chef's kiss so that is everything that i wanted to review for you guys so far i have so much more to do there's going to be a lot of i hauled it because i have so much i want to review in detail for you guys i highly recommend this mostly for medium to dark tone skin colors unless you're like me and you want it anyway just to use it because i i do use this i use the highlighters out of it and the blush whatevs and the kakin products are one thousand percent worth it just go slow read read everything and make sure you're getting the right shade for yourself which can be hard and this color pop palette get it you're welcome <laughs> so everything that i talked about will be listed and linked down below thank you so much for watching and i of course will see you guys in the next one bye bye